Well, joining us for more now, Shaparag Shajari Zadeh is an award-winning human rights activist and writer. Thank you very much uh, for, for being with us. And, and a bit about your background, first of all, if, if you don't mind, because you yourself were arrested for not wearing hijab correctly in Iran. Can you tell us about your experience? Yeah, I was uh, one of the women who protested against compulsory hijab a few years ago. And actually, I was beaten up badly in the same deten detention center as Mahsa, uh, like uh, four and a half years ago, uh, interrogated uh, in that uh, building and uh, like sent to jail uh, in solitary, uh, soli solitary uh, confinement. Um, and I experienced the, the most frightening moments of my life during that time because of pro protesting for the job. So how do you feel then when you see the images of these women of all ages, but mostly young women, taking to the streets in defiance of this regime? And did you expect them to still be out on the streets, what is it, almost two weeks later? Um, actually, as uh, you can understand, I'm so worried but at, because I know how brutal this regime would be, but at the same time, I'm in awe uh, with my sisters in Iran like having many women with me in the streets uh, without veil was my uh, dream. But uh, now I'm, I'm seeing like thousands and thousands, thousands of women in the street burning uh, the symbol of uh, suppression of women, this symbol of systematic violence against women in that country. Uh, is is incredible. I have never dreamed of seeing these like videos and footages, and I'm dying to be there with them, fighting this government. Now, the, the question everyone is asking right now, of course, is whether or not this is a turning point in Iran. Uh, what is different about these protests, do you think? And do you think that these are the protests that could bring down this regime after 43 years? Uh, we are hopeful. I'm praying this would be the end of this uh, dictatorship regime. But at the same time, even even if this uh, like uh, demonstration uh, uh, suppressed by the government, I know definitely this would be the beginning of the downfall of this regime. People around the world this time. Um, are hearing uh, the, uh, the the voices of Iranian people, the voices of Iranian uh, Iranian women, and I'm hopeful. This is this is the end. This is the end. Uh, a lot of commentators have said in recent years that the issue of the hijab uh, in Iran was was not really consequential. It wasn't really important. Um, do you think that this proves otherwise? Don't believe those comments. You've seen the violence. You've seen the the videos of women beaten up uh, and thrown in, into those uh, those morality police uh, vans. Um, this is uh, like the government, uh, apart from uh, not having rights, uh, equal rights in Iran, this government has been violence against women in the streets every day. No matter what, Iranian women, when we are in public, we always have the, this shadow of fear on our shoulder because uh, like not, no other countries, we feel not safe with our police officers because uh, like this is the government against women for 40 plus years. No, hijab is the identity of this uh, Islamic regime. And uh, this is it. Not having a job, not having forced a job is the end of this government, is the end of their ideology. And if, uh, like, and I'm, I'm happy that he forced a job, protest against for forced a job, and also protest against this government is, is, is going to be uh, downfall of the government. Uh, we've been harassed for years for years. Shafarag Shajarizadi, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.